Hey everyone, hope you're well. Just wanted to talk to you today about a few of my favourite places in Pemberton. Uh, the High Street is full of fantastic independent shops and they are all fantastic, but I'm just give you a few of my particular highlights. So bread and butter uh, is one of my one of my absolute favourites there. Uh, Faye and Ryan, not only do they run a great place, but they're really, really lovely people. And one of the things we love there is going for breakfast on a Sunday occasionally. Um, the kids love it, the family love it, and in fact we've been there with everybody, myself, my wife, the kids, the grandparents. So it's a really, really great place to go for that. And also they do uh, occasional evening functions. So they did one on uh, Valentine's Day this year, um, and I think it was a chocolate espresso uh, tart that they did was absolutely amazing. Um, I also uh, use uh, Pamela Jane the florist quite a lot um, for various reasons, both for like Valentine's Day's birthdays, um, but also for some of my clients when they're moving into new properties because I think, um, to be honest, well priced, good good quality of, 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 of the stock that the lady's got in there, Pamela. Um, and again, another really nice lady as well. Uh, Cow Shed, I love going in there, again, normally for like a midweek breakfast. Uh, they tend to do um, a lot of different things. Uh, you know, I've got a few allergies, so they do a lot of different things that I'm really interested in. Um, one of my favourites there is sourdough toast, avocado, bacon, and poached eggs, which they do really, really nicely in there. And actually, they've also got some fantastic green teas, which I really, really love. The cherry green tea in there, particularly, is one of my favourites. Um, then you have got the art centre. Um, I was kind of involved a little bit in that at the beginning um, and what those guys have managed to do for the area is absolutely awesome so can't wait to see that uh, open soon. Lime Bar is obviously a fantastic venue for evening drinks especially now in the sunshine on the terrace um, and obviously the way um, that they've managed to get themselves over so quickly given everything that's happened um, is a real testament to them the same with everybody else but yeah the terrace there is a really really good good, good one for me. Um, Little India for takeaway um, Indian food absolutely awesome. Um, I don't think I'd be overstating it to say um, I've probably not had too many better curries than you can get from there so those guys are brilliant, really nice people in there as well which again is, is, is one of the main things for me. Another one, not so much a shop but someone who I recommend quite often to, to, to clients is uh, Andy Jones of Jones & Company, um, surveyors so for when you're buying a property, uh, really really nice guy, very down to earth, very straightforward to deal with um, and again, you know, kind of gives my clients the right information. So that's someone I have no sort of issue at all in hesitating to, to recommend. So that's Andy Jones of Jones and Company on the High Street there. And then you've got Macmillan's, which again, for uh, not just guys like me, but for a lot of people are, are lifesavers sometimes, because obviously if you need to go and nip and get a card or nip and get a gift, there's always something there to buy. So that's a really, really good asset for the community as well as obviously their cafe, which uh, generally gives them really, really good cakes. Um, but yeah, that's just a summary of some of the places I love in Pemberton because I live in Pemberton, my kids go to school and nursery in the area and I'm just really passionate about trying to drive the area forward.